Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, Frank Show. It's time for the show. Hello, hi, headsets. Frankie Boy here, and we're back with another episode of Ask Frank. Now, I'm sorry I missed you on Saturday, but I decided to get a full night of sleep and instead put the video on Sunday. Now, without any further ado, let's kick it off. First up, V about that our life, our pack. Perish asked Frank, do you think they will ever make a Pac-Man VR game? Now, I don't know about that. Sega has actually worked with a company to make this kind of like virtual emulator game where you can play like a retro Sega console and Sega games on there on the Oculus. So I think some retro devs want to do stuff and some don't want to do stuff. Now, I'd be happy enough with honestly like a virtual arcade that I go into and get to play Pac-Man rather than just a VR Pac-Man game because I don't know how VR Pac-Man would work unless you were just like running and you had like Pac-Man following you and it was more like a racist escape game but hey i don't know could be cool what do you guys think next up tiny potato man says do we have any news on space buyer trader now tiny uh, no real news yet they said it's coming out this year and they tease it a little bit back but i haven't heard a word now if you like bullet hell games space pirate trainer is top notch probably one of the best you get so many different weapons to go through and the visuals are so solid and from what i've heard the people that got the demo it said that it looked great on playstation vr so i'm super psyched and that is a great game once it finally comes out the kind of demo for people the first time they're playing vr because it's very very like <gasps> whoa vr the first time <laughs> This gen, last gen, says, Frankie, do you have any updates on form? Now, actually, we got an update on form just recently. It's coming out in August for everything, PlayStation VR, Vive, and Rift, so I'm super excited. Now, we also learned that it was a little Black Mirror inspired, which is pretty cool, and if you guys have not checked it out, it's this, like, fantasy house of a doctor that you get to go into and explore and find a mystery, and the visuals look solid, storytelling looks awesome, cannot wait to play form. JB Brand says, hey, Frankie, a U.S. or EU gamer? Now, JB, I am a U.S. gamer through and through. Now, I can play the EU times a lot of the time because I'll play kind of like late or early in the morning. But a lot of the time I upload my videos so EU people can watch them in the morning. But then I play so North American people can play in the afternoon. I try to like put a balance to everything. But uh, you guys understand. It's difficult trying to cater to everyone around in the world. I'm up about 19 to 20 hours a day. So I'm pretty reachable most of the time and can play most of the time. I just. I wish I had more time. All right, Kenny Schmidt says, hey, Frankie, I wear glasses, and I've noticed some little marks on my headset. Do you think something like the lens pen will fix that? And Kenny, sadly, no. Uh, those are probably smudges that are stuck on your glasses. I, I mean, on your lenses. They're these little spacers that they sell on eBay. I've actually got them on my eBay shop, or not eBay, Amazon shop. It's in the description. And you can put them into your headset, and it'll make it so that your glasses don't ever press up against the lenses. That's probably your best bet. That or just don't push your headset all the way in, uh, which you're going to lose a little bit of that darkness from everything. But uh, What's better to you, darkness or smudges? Unwettable GGO4 says, hey, Frankie, are we getting anything like Pavlov for PlayStation VR? Now, we are getting Firewall at the end of the uh, next month, the 28th, and that's similar more to like Onworld, but Pavlov also does have those modes, so not straight up Pavlov, but Honor and Duty D-Day is also coming in August, and that is going to have like a first-person mode, and you'll have tanks and different kind of things, and that one, it's not as, it's not as like realistic of an art style, but it's a really cool art style, and it's supposed to support a lot of players, so that could be very, very fun when that finally does come out and it's going to have aim support as well as like aim and move support so like if you're shooting with your aim and reach down and grab your move controller you could like throw a grenade or have a sidearm so you can have a couple things at once which is pretty cool and i'm excited to play around with Mike Kennedy says, hey, Frankie, when are you going to do your next giveaway competition? Now, Mike, we may have one coming up this week. We might have one coming up next week. I have no idea, but you guys, you're always going to know. I normally try to put giveaway in the title when it's the first day of the giveaway. Normally, they try to go for maybe three or four to five days so that it's not too long, like you're waiting forever. Um, so if you miss it the first day, you can always go back, click at any of those couple days. But soon, Mikey, I promise you. All right, Seth Jones loves the personality. Thank you, Seth. You're beautiful. You didn't have to say all that. But really, he wants to know what are some great games to show off to friends uh, when they're just checking out PSVR for the first time. Now, in the, I mentioned to him that Super Hot is a fantastic game to show off to people. I think Fruit Ninja is also a really, really great, like, simpler VR game to show off to people. Uh, Resident Evil 7 is a little overcomplicated. Maybe the kitchen demo if you just want to scare them. Uh, some of the PS World stuff is nice because it's a little bit simpler. Um, and then 
And another solid one is, I always like to say this one, Gun Jack. Now, it's really cheap, and it's really simple, but it's like a nice controller, like shooting the guns. It, it is great for a first VR experience, and it'll normally put a big smile and wow people, even though it's something simple. That way, if you step it up next time, they're like, wow, it, it gets even better. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? The, uh, let me know some VR experiences you've demoed to people the first time that they thought it was the best. Team Hex says, hey, Frank, you get any issues with motion sickness and ultra wings? Now, Hex, I don't, but I don't get any motion sickness issues. But ultra wings has uh, gone beyond and above than most devs, and they have a lot of nice comfort settings that aren't obtrusive. So, like, they'll actually just put sides on the plane so you still feel like you're immersed in a plane, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly, like, sickness that you'd feel every way. They also have some other blindness that you can put on there. But, no, I don't get sick in ultra wings. That's a really, really great game. It might take a sec to get your feeling for it, but, dude, it's 100% worth it and you get over can any kind of issues because it's not a bad one they did a great job with that game and there's so much content super mario if has the uh the question that's probably the title of the video today vr chat ever coming to playstation vr now we're gonna sit back and talk about this one for just a second because honestly i don't think we're ever gonna get anything like vr chat or exactly no i mean we get something like but i don't think we're gonna get exactly vr chat for a long time on playstation vr uh we do have ps home that could possibly be coming because it was semi in the works but we don't have any kind of confirmed anything for playstation vr yet now the reason that VR chat I think took off and did so well is one you can make your avatar whatever you'd like and two because they allowed flat screen players to play on top of VR players so it opened up to an entire giant player base now I say this all the time rec room to me is much better than VR chat you can have fun joke around goof with buddies go into rooms play actual games that are actually fun and not to mention rec room is actually recently updated and they're working on a beta mode and I'll link it below if you guys want to try it out but they have a new flat screen mode so even if you don't have VR you be able to download Rec Room and play with players that are not in VR. They're in VR. Well, they're going to have both regular and VR lobbies and mixed lobbies, so it's fair to everybody. Now, I think that that could help bring Rec Room to that VR chat level because I personally think it's a much better place. Uh, the community is much nicer. You can still find people to play with, and the games are awesome. But personally, no, I don't think VR chat will hit our system in a long time, and I don't really spend a lot of time in VR chat. It's a weeb game, which is cool, but it's not my kind of game. It's just just the, it's a weird community of I mean you can joke around or something and there's some weird videos online but it's more for that than it really is like spending your time there I know there's people that love to spend it and they enjoy every second of it and I'm sure that there's reasons and there's social reasons and they need it and they love it and it's great but it, it, it don't stress so much about not getting VR chat rec room is a thousand times better in my opinion all right, XS Game Collector wants to know what state Frankie lives in because he wants to make me a desk. Now, that is the coolest thing that I have ever heard in a long time because he thinks that this bummy desk is not great, although I do like my VR sticker collection, and I can't get rid of that. And these drawers are actually from my grandfather who passed away. Uh, rest in peace. He's with the greatest person ever. But um, And I don't want to get rid of him for that case, but I would love to have like a real desk on top of this desk because you, you're right. All I have right now is just two drawers and like some plywood, but it works. It gets the job done. It's not about extravagance. It's about getting things accomplished <laughs> but i am collector i'm also in south carolina so uh hey anybody wondering i'm deep in the dirty dirty <laughs> All right, Welshboy98 says, hey, Frankie, what about PC VR? Uh, well, not PC VR, PS VR on PC versus PS4. Now, honestly, I haven't had a chance to really try it out. I've tried to plug it in once or twice, and it's not the most user-friendly thing on Earth, and I'm not the most PC, like, master race guy. I'm way more of a PC noob, so I just have to go from what other people tell me. And if you have a beefy, great VR-ready PC with nice VR games on there, they look almost better on PlayStation VR than they do any other headsets because we have great lenses, we have great refresh, rates i mean honestly playstation vr is one of the top visual headsets it's just that the ps4 doesn't have the capabilities that some like thousand dollar computer could do uh so yeah if you play with your playstation vr on your pc it's gonna look great but you gotta have a pc that's beefy to start with if you play on a crummy pc it's not gonna look that great it's not gonna run that well so there's not really any big thing now with the prices of pc vr going down it's kind of almost fruitless to buy a playstation vr and something like a nolo but if you have the money why not because then with playstation vr you can play your exclusive playstation vr games and you can plug into your pc with the nolo and play the pc stuff and until the next generation of pc stuff comes out that have far better graphics i it's a nice alternative it's just not the greatest and the latency still ain't perfect Jason Byron wants to know if I've tried any haptic feedback suits and if they increase the immersion. Now, yes, I have, and yes, they do. I tried this one that actually, like, 
it was built for the game. So when you get shot in certain spots, you could feel them. And that was next level immersion. But I've heard people just using the simpler ones uh, that just work off like your base. And they love every second with it. Uh, they, they, they said that it helps to kind of like bring it to the next level, especially when you're playing music games. Now, with Beat Saber coming up soon, if you were to invest in some kind of haptic vest, I think that that would be next level. I think Beat Saber to begin with is crazy i'm sure that you're gonna get haptic feedback in the hands when you slice every time but if you get that like chest booming too it's gonna be nuts so yes haptic feedbacks definitely increase the immersion Escape Cat says, hey, Frankie, do you recommend Oculus Go? Now, Escape Cat, I've talked about this a lot. I got a whole video on it, and yes, I definitely recommend Oculus Go, but for different reasons than PlayStation VR. It's much more of a media consumption, simple, fun, like puzzle-based VR app stuff, but they're supposed to be adding some kind of like uh, Elder Scrolls app to Oculus Go, I think, maybe in the future. It might just be on Oculus. I'm not 100% sure yet, but yes. Oculus Go is a great buy. It's awesome. Netflix on it is great. YouTube on it is great. Uh, some of the simpler, like Esper, Esper 2, those are great apps on there. There's also a handful of other great apps. But most of them are on PlayStation VR. We're coming to PlayStation VR. So really what you're going to be using it for is all the media stuff. And using it for that is awesome. Like watching the World Cup on my Oculus Go was really, really cool. Uh, seeing like live concerts with Oculus venues is really cool. And hopping into a room with up to like three or four other people and like playing Monopoly, which is coming soon, is, is awesome. Yeah, you can play like board games games in this like public space you can even put your own pictures on the wall 87 says hey frankie are we ever gonna get king spray for playstation vr now king spray actually hinted months ago that they were working on the playstation vr build i think they're just trying to make it perfect so yes we're definitely getting king spray for psvr i just don't know when and when it comes i can't wait i have held out on buying it for pc just because i want to like shake my move controller as like a can versus like anything else <laughs> Tim Clorox says, hey, Frankie, is Rift worth it if you have PlayStation VR? Now, I've gotten this question actually from Rift users about PlayStation VR. And the big question is, is our exclusives worth it to you? Now, honestly, I think if you're into VR, you like VR, having both PSVR and a PC VR headset is fantastic because you get to try everything that comes out. You get to try games that are coming to PlayStation VR months before they hit PlayStation VR. And you get to play all the like silly PC stuff that you could never, that's never going to come to PlayStation VR because it's either just demo trash stuff or just silly goofy stuff that works once or twice. And there's all the waifu stuff if you're into that kind of as well. But yes, I think the Rift is definitely worth the imp. Um, investment. I love my Rift. I love my touch controllers, but I also love my PlayStation VR, my aim controllers, and my move controllers. And I think that there's games that I'm only going to want to play on PlayStation VR, like Persistence, which is awesome. I just can't talk too much about it right now. And or Farpoint, and then I can never play those on the Rift, or even Resident Evil 7, which hasn't been said anything about PC versions. So, this one's going to get things like Marble or Robo Recall. Or like, it's got a handful of great Oculus exclusives. And everything Oculus Studios touches is honestly gold. So, yeah, I think a Rift is a great investment. A Vive is also a great investment. But uh, it's a little bit more difficult to run all the Rift wraps natively. Well, you can't run them natively on the Vive. So, uh, I don't know. I personally, consumer-friendly-wise, I think the Rift is probably one of the most consumer-friendly products of all time. It might even be better for consumers than PlayStation VR once you get it all set up and into the experience. Because... It's really cool, and it's really smooth, and it works really, really well, and the home is awesome. All right, Ollie 42 Invader has some issues with his hands kind of like going off a couple angles. And honestly, dude, Ollie, even on PC, he asked for PC and on PS. What I just do is like reset the controllers and shake them like the dude said in the comment. That seems to work. I sometimes will hide them behind my back and then pop them back out to reset the lighting. And normally, unless your battery is really low, that, that's all it takes. I know that it's not the best. It's kind of like blowing in your console or like smacking on the computer, but it, it works. <laughs> And this is why answers the question that I almost got onto a minute ago. Is there any going to be getting anything like Oculus Home for PlayStation VR? Now, if you guys aren't want to wear what Oculus Home is, it's this awesome space that you can actually, each time you play on Oculus, you get like a little egg that you get to crack open and when it or it's a really a box and when it pops open you get three little pieces of furniture you can get like a couch you can get paintings you can get games to play with and you get to decorate this awesome room that you can customize however you want the walls the ceilings the floors you can invite people over you can do archery you can even put like windowed versions of your desktop so if you're watching a movie you could hang out in your oculus home with somebody and watch a movie in virtual reality um and no we don't have anything like that on playstation vr yet now the original devs of playstation home said they were working on something when playstation vr first come out but that was the first and only thing we've ever heard about it now my thing is they're possibly working on it and need it to be perfect before it rolls out because that big social app can make a giant difference in virtual reality so yes i think something is coming because they don't even have a, a 
we don't even have a real UI for VR yet. Um, like, and it's, I think we're going to have a true interface soon. I think we're going to have a true, like, hub space soon. I think that it's just a matter of getting the numbers up there. It might even be on PlayStation 5 before we have it or PSVR 2, but they're definitely going to have to make some kind of, like, home or hub space. People love that. It, it creates a sense of, like, comfort and, like, like uh, like this, you know, when you hop into VR, you're automatically kind of like thrown off. Like it's something different, but when you have this home space in VR that you can always hop into first, it's comforting. It's like, oh, okay, here I get to start. Oh, I get to pick my game, and then you're already comfort. You're in VR. You're ready to go. Uh, versus sometimes it's a little jarring to jump right into a game. So no, we don't have anything yet, anything spoken of yet, but I'm pretty sure something's coming. And you can always customize your dorm room and rec room and hang out in there if that's what you really want. All right, and that was actually our last question for today. I, I never pay attention to the last question. And uh, thank you all for coming through. I hope you enjoyed the answers. I hope you enjoyed the questions. I hope I answered your question. If I didn't answer your question, it was possibly a duplicate. I possibly missed it, or you didn't put the hashtag Ask Frank on it, so I wasn't able to see it. So, as always, if you'd like your question featured on next week's show, just leave it in the comments below or on any video from now until next Saturday or Sunday, depending on when I do this. And I will definitely check the comments, ask, answer the questions, and feature it on the video. Now, thank you all for coming through. You're the most amazing audience in the world. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. If it's Sunday for you, if it's Monday morning when you're watching this, I hope you have. I'm sorry you got to go back to work if that's what you got to do. But uh, thank you for coming through. If you'd like to, hit that thumbs up. But more important than all that is that if you want to stay up to date on any and everything PlayStation VR and you, you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on. Smudges. All right, back to, back to editing. <laughs> Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Buddy on YouTube. Buddy on Frank Show. Buddy on YouTube. Buddy on Frank Show. And that's how you do an outro. I don't know what else to do. <laughs>